Everybody, thanks for joining me. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Truly appreciate it. If you haven't been here before, maybe this is what got you here. This is our Samsung uh, washing machine front load. 11 years old already, but uh, it's time to go. I already know what's wrong with it, and uh, it's probably not worth repairing. It is repairable, but probably not worth repairing. Um, but in the meantime, what I thought I'd do is, probably a lot of you out there are struggling with how to disassemble these things. This one is extremely easy to disassemble, so this disassembly could be used for uh, replacing the spider arm. I'm not gonna go that deep, but show you how to get in there, uh, rep replacing maybe the four shock absorbers that are on the drum. In the meantime, uh, this could be used to replace water pump as well. Uh, I've done the water pump in this one a couple years ago. It's an extremely easy machine to take apart. No need to be fearful of how to get it apart. Uh, I'll show you how to remove the seal in the front if you need to replace the seal. That's another easy job there. So why don't we get started and uh, we'll start taking this thing apart and just taking it apart just for fun, just to show you. All right, so the reason why we're getting rid of this, like I said, there's not a whole lot of room here, guys. Sorry about the camera angles, but we have a vibration issue. So even when it's not uh, loaded, we still have a really bad vibration or banging. And this movement here is normal, but what's not normal is grabbing it from the inside, then hearing a metallic sound, putting my hand on the back of the drum while moving it. I can feel the crunch and uh, that crunch indicates to me that there's a spider in the back there, a big metal aluminum piece, and so that's probably broken. Well, it's more than likely broken. So uh, really not worth repairing, seeing as it's 11 years old. So let's go ahead and start to disassemble it. All right, so hypothetically speaking, if you needed to replace this seal right here, it's fairly simple. We're just gonna remove the door. There's two screws on the front of the door. And then the door just lifts up and pulls off. Be careful, this is glass. So if we're getting into the seal right here, there's a big metal retaining ring and it's spring loaded at the bottom. So it's always indexed down here at the bottom, there's a spring. And what I like to use to remove it is a flat screwdriver. And I simply insert it and then pull the spring out this way and the spring comes off. So it's really simple to do. Let me just put the camera down, I'll show you. And under here where you can't even see it, there's a spring. So normally what I do is I just insert a screwdriver inside, nice and gentle. And as I kind of just pull away this way, like so. And it pops the spring out so and that is the retaining ring right there you can see that it's the retaining ring and there's that spring that I was talking about right there so that's fairly simple to do so now we move along to removing this front cover so to remove this front cover here we need to remove the two screws that are at the back of the appliance right here to take the top cover off Two, like so. Then this back cover will lift up and pull out. Now we have access to the top of the machine. So up here, we're gonna be removing this piece right here. So we have one, two, three, four screws to remove this top piece right here. Four screws. You should just lift up, curls forward, and you just have to wiggle it out of its little spot there. And then we can move it aside like that. So now on the top of the front cover, there's one, two, three, four screws there as well. And there's two at the bottom, one right at the bottom down here, right here, and one on the other side. So let's get these four off and I'll remove the two in the bottom. 
what I like to do is just like take a screwdriver and there's a clip on the top here. I just like to stick the screwdriver in there, lift it up, and then that pulls out. Now this tips all the way forward. I'm just gonna remove our gasket. Alright, so first we're just gonna remove our gasket here. forward and it just lifts out it's a little bit of a pain in the butt it was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up all right so before we can lift that front panel out we're gonna have to remove two screws in here and one of them is right here And the other one is right here. Sorry, my head's in the way. All right, so we got that out. This panel should just tip forward and lift straight up. Now there are wires attached to it for the door sensor or the door switch on the opposite side. So we gotta be careful with that. Off, we can just move it to the side like so. And there we go. There, so now that we have that all apart, we can do a number of things in here. You could change your gasket by removing this bolt up on top, which would be able to pull this out. We now have access to replace our water pump. If you needed to replace the water pump, that's right here. Or you could replace the shock absorbers on the front, right here. There's one right here, one on the opposite side. And to replace the ones in the back, there's an access panel in the back that comes off, just a couple of screws as well. So that's fairly simple. So Samsung WF218AN disassembly. We have access to the complete machine from here. Again, I'm not gonna be repairing this one. It's too expensive to repair. I'm looking, I, it needs shocks and it needs that spider in the back because it's broken. So I'm looking at, you know, $300 in parts and a couple weeks del delivery for sure. So we're just gonna go ahead because of the age of the machine and buy a new one again, disposable, society, terrible. But as you can see, super easy to remove, take apart, handful of screws and you're in there. So if you have any questions about this or if I missed something, uh, let me know. So thanks again for watching, truly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.